Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and we are in 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. So if you're new to the game, you may come upon the time of day when it's like this. It is um, around noon and it's kind of uh, a little bit washed out feeling, looking. Um, and maybe you don't like this. So here's a little bit of a, a opportunity to change this if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. It may work for other graphics cards. I'm not sure. I It won't work with this method, but other companies may have implemented something similar. Um, but this is an NVIDIA only uh, option or possibility. So let's, let's take a look at it. All right. So this is sort of what the game looks like right now at high noon. Now, if I hit F3, uh, Alt F3, that is. Um, you can see that this interesting game filters thing pops up. Now this is from the uh, GeForce experience from NVIDIA and there's three different styles to choose from. Now, you can change in real time the appearance of your game. Once again, this is what it looks like just on any ordinary day at around 12 noon. Very sort of bright and washed out, um, kind of, I don't know, unusual color that some people don't really like. I'm not particularly as keen on it myself. I feel there's more vibrancy in the middle of most days, but um, so for me, I, I'm going to decide to choose to play a different way. Uh, so we'll get into kind of how to set this all up now, I think. All right, guys, so I was lucky enough to get a uh, GTX 1080 when they were still cheap-ish. Um, so that gave me the opportunity to do this at this point in time, um, far before I ever knew it. Now, one of the things you're gonna need is this GeForce Experience. It's a type of software that allows you to do different streaming and recording and taking pictures and stuff all with the NVIDIA graphics card built in kind of features. Uh, and so that's pretty awesome. I don't actually use it for most of my stuff. I generally use OBS, but um, I have used it and it works pretty well. Um, and I may use it more in the future now that I've got even more reasons to use it. But the feature we want is called NVIDIA Freestyle. And it says change your game's appearance in real time. So yeah, you can change it just like I showed you already to have different ways to see different things. Now there's a bunch of more stuff down here. Um, there's even instructions here. Uh, get the latest um, GeForce experience. And then you have to opt into the freestyle beta and I'll just uh, get into all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's got a pretty decent tutorial, but then, so if, I'm, if what I'm telling you doesn't quite resonate, you can also read through all this stuff and uh, take a look, but it's pretty great. Okay, so back up here. Um, yeah, like if you already have your graphics card in and you're still setting things up, maybe you want to just Google GeForce Experience and then bam, should be right there. And you'll just download it and install it. And I won't go into that because that's pretty standard computer stuff. Um, install it wherever you need. Um, anyway, eventually you get to down here where like down in the bottom corner here and you click on the little uh, up arrowy thing that has a lot of different little program icons and you right click on the little NVIDIA one and you go NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Boom. And that brings up this little form here. As you can see, I've got a lot of copies of Seven Days to Die on my computer. Um, these are all mods, modded versions, uh, backups, copies. Wow, I have, that's besides the point. Let's move on. Um, over here by your name, which I blurred out mine because it's pro my real name, uh, is the little gear settings icon and you click on that and you hit enable experimental features. So that just does whatever it happens to be and that may require an update. That probably means and could require an update of the GeForce experience or your drivers. So yeah, um, real quick, these there's a list of supported games. Um, I don't know, 
I, I was looking for supported cards, but I haven't really found much. And I ended up finding this list. And Seven Days to Die is like the first one on the list. So there you go. It's in there. Um, but there's lots of different games. You can't. You don't have to do it just with this game. So there's that. All right. So if you want to update your driver, you just kind of have to go to Iceman Dev Ice Manager. There it is. There you go. And then find your display manager adapters. Uh, then find your graphics card and go over to driver and update driver that and then uh, you can just tell it to automatically do its thing um search automatically um unless you have one but i mean if you're looking for the most recent up-to-date one odds are you don't have it because you're not the developer but <laughs> just saying <laughs> maybe you do anyway um there you go um, that's the thing that I had to do because I couldn't get it to work for a while. It kept on gave, giving me an error. And the error was solved by updating my driver for my graphics card. So, yeah. So, um, in game, when you go back, you can, once you're in the game, you know, it's all here. I've got the zombies set to not be around. Unless I maybe go look for them, but then, yeah. Anyway. You hit Alt, F3, and that brings up this game filters. And once again, with it turned off, it looks all gray and washed out. It's just not very vibrant. Um, and now these settings are gonna take you a little while. This is sort of um, how it is set right now that it sort of is maximum. And some people play like this. I don't, at because at nighttime, it's just, I don't like it. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go, you're gonna pick one of the three styles, hit add filter, and color is at the very least the one you want. And this shows a bunch of different things. You can change all kinds of things. You can make it look, let's see here, Deus Ex-like by adding some yellow, <laughs> you know? You can probably do a lot of other games. I'm not gonna do all that. Uh, we're gonna actually turn these down because that's how I, that's to get the effect that I have shown you already. And then you can just crank the vibrance up. That will make it look a lot more rich already. Uh, you can add other filters too. I haven't actually played with most of these because I'm not really interested. Colorblind might be good for you. Black and white was interesting, but I mostly went with these two, color and contrast, because I find that if you, for the daytime anyway, tweak your gamma down to around 15, 14, that's probably a pretty good point. And maybe you even want to take your shadows and make them a little bit darker, right? You don't want to, I, no, it's up to you actually. I went with zero. I thought zero was all right, but hey, you can do whatever you want. And eventually though, I settled on this because at nighttime, it's a little bit well, it was a little bit crazy. I'll show you that. Um, and these are those settings I have for that. So, just a little bit of, well, not actually a whole lot of stuff. I think the gamma I adjusted because it was too dark at night. Anyway, let's just let's just move to the nighttime and we'll see what that all looks like. So that's turned off and bam, nighttime mode like. Yeah, and so you can see, like, normally even in-game, sometime around this point in the day, things naturally become more filled in anyway. Um, hit Alt F3, if we were to turn it off. Like, everything does look better, but it's still got a little bit washed out appearance. Um, I, I kind of prefer to keep mine on. And then at night, Let's get over to the nighttime. Oops. Over to night, nighttime. There we go. Proper nighttime. Um, mine na is now not too bad. It looks pretty good. Um, you can change things. So if I had it set to this one, 
I don't know. I thought when I was inside of a building that it was a little bit too dark, but it does look pretty realistic. I, I, I pretty much I like this setting. Now, there's some other things you could do, um, and this is why this is actually been related features to this have actually been banned from certain competition games like PUBG. <laughs> um, if you want to actually compete, kind of thing, it's just like they're too cheaty. So you know, you can take things and go the other directions. You know, you can go bam like this and make it all look so so much brighter at night. Maybe add a little bit more contrast in there. Now you have effectively proper night vision. Oh, this exposure thing is actually an interesting one. It makes it, gives that uh, almost washed out effect that was in game anyway, but um, yeah, so you can go basically have night vision. Uh, once again, this is off, which is sort of washed out. This is full vibrance and a little bit of gamma. This is my kind of current setting. I think this is good for a YouTube video. And this is night vision. Now, I don't really necessarily use this. I am... Depends, I guess, on if people on my channel really want to see what's going on at night, though. It's kind of questionable. At any rate, that's pretty much it. That's basically some of the different things you can do with it. Um, the game is generally pretty gorgeous looking, so... Anyways, give that a go, guys, and let me know in the comments your thoughts. And uh, I might be able to ask you some questions. I am certainly no expert on this system, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll do what I can. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you uh, want to support the channel even more, you can head on over to Patreon and take a look there. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.